planet Earth. Unfortunately, after seven billion seasons, it's about to be canceled. There is a dire warning tonight from climate scientists. They say one million of the Earth's eight million plant and animal species are now at imminent risk of extinction. The United Nations report released today in Paris identified how humans are causing extinction at a rate never before seen in human history. Good Lord. One million species are in danger of going extinct. Like, that's such a crazy... That's so many deaths, you know? Even the creators of Game of Thrones would be like, geez, guys, pump the brakes. <laughs> Maybe throw in a sex scene or two. Come on. <laughs> But this news is, is really terrible news. Unless humans actively cut down on carbon emissions, overfishing, and deforestation, a mass extinction is inevitable, which is depressing. It really is. But if we had to find a silver lining, I am excited to see a million species checking off their bucket lists. You know, <laughs> polar bears bungee jumping off the Grand Canyon, <laughs> elephants finally telling their crushes they're in love, and, of course, sea turtles finally gathering the courage to meet their birth parents. Aww. <laughs> Aww. I found you, Papa. <laughs> you realize, though, at this rate, all the animals on Earth are gonna be dead, and it's only gonna be us humans left, right? Because the human population keeps growing, the animal population keeps dying. You know what that means? At some point, we're gonna have to decide which people have to act like animals, right? Because <laughs> we still need to see animals. So, like, Seth Rogen, you're a polar bear. It's done. <laughs> Yeah, Miley Cyrus, you're gonna be a lemur, that's it. And Snoop Dogg, obviously, you are a cat. <laughs> now, I know a lot of people would think that you would be a dog because of your name, but if you pay attention to a cat's personality, they're all exactly just like Snoop. Yeah, every cat seems like it smokes weed and listens to hip-hop all day. They just got that chilled vibe about them. You're gonna jump for this treat? They're like, why don't you drop it like it's hot? <laughs> drop it like it's hot? I said, meow, mother <laughs> meow. <laughs> Now... <laughs> now, before you start mourning all the animals going extinct, the good news is there are some dead animals that are coming back. Wendy's is bringing back its uh, spicy chicken nuggets thanks to Chance the Rapper and Twitter. The rapper tweeted over the weekend positive affirmations for today. Wendy's will bring back spicy nuggets at some point. Please, please, Lord, let it be today. Wendy's social media team seized on the opportunity, saying it would bring them back. If their tweet got two million likes, it wasn't long before that happened. Wendy's tweeted Monday morning, this is not a drill, spicy chicken nuggets are coming back. That's right. <laughs> Thanks to Chance the Rapper, Wendy's is bringing back spicy chicken nuggets. And you know what? It's great to see a celebrity take on a cause that's actually attainable for a change, you know? <laughs> You've got Bono running around the world trying to end poverty. Chance the Rapper's just like, hey, let's just bring back the number five. I like that. <laughs> I like that. And as much as I love spicy nuggets, I do think it's a little weird that Wendy's is making it like they're doing us a favor, yeah? Because they... Because we're still gonna buy the nuggets. You realize that, yes? <laughs> like, they're not giving them to us for free, but Wendy's is like, okay, since you asked for it, we'll sell you something! <laughs> like, I, I don't understand why we always have to beg fast food chains to bring back the foods that we like. They're always just holding the good items hostage, you know? It's like, we want the mac rib. No. You're gonna have the filet of fish, yeah. And you're gonna like it. Oh, I hope this fish goes extinct. <laughs> Here's a crazy idea, actually. I say this, fast food chains, why don't you just keep the food that we like, yeah? Why not? I know, it's a crazy idea, I know, I know. But we're the customers, so you should just let us choose, all right? We just choose which foods you keep. Except for Burger King. I mean, that's a monarchy, so they make their own rules. <laughs> yes. And of course, congratulations, Your Majesty, on the royal baby. Well done, well done. <laughs> 